On today's video, we're gonna make cream cheese, chipotle mango, stuffed lamb chops, wrapped in bacon. All right, so I got this mango. I'm gonna cut the skin off the mango. I'm just gonna cut these off. Open this cream cheese. Split it in half. I'm gonna mix it in the mango. Now we got the cream cheese, the mango. All right, so then we're gonna mix some chipotle mango. I don't know, about a half a cup. Then we're gonna mix this together. All right, so we got the uh, cream cheese, mangoes, and the chipotle mango seasoning all mixed together sitting. Um, now we're gonna open our rack of lamb. Now there's a lot of fat here on top that you can uh, you can trim off, but I'm gonna leave most of it because fat is flavor, baby. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fillet this thing open. We're gonna cut it in half. So one, two, three, probably right here. Cut this sucker in half. Now what I'm gonna do cut this meat open and just fillet it back. Just like that. Get this other one, cut into the meat. We're gonna fillet it back, fillet it back. So now we're gonna do some uh, Arizona Cajun. We are gonna season this lamb up with some Cajun rub. Then we're gonna flip it over, season the back side. Okay, same thing on this one. We're gonna season away. Then we're gonna season the back side. Now we're gonna stuff these things. All right, so we got our cream cheese mixture. Cream cheese mango mixture. We're gonna kinda set that inside there. Cream cheese mango mixture, we're gonna set inside there. Now we're gonna wrap it up. Stuff the sides. Wrap this sucker back up. Same with this. All right, so now that the uh, lamb is filleted open, we stuffed it with cream cheese, we stuffed it with some mangoes. Um, we got the chipotle mango seasoned cream cheese. Um, now we use the Arizona Cajun and we completely covered the lamb. Um, now, the best part, we're gonna wrap it in bacon. So when you wrap anything in bacon, you wanna make sure it's the cheap stuff. So I got the Bar-esque Cheapo Cheap Bacon. The reason I do cheap bacon is because if you wrap anything in thick bacon, the bacon is not cooked all the way and your meat is completely cooked. So you want it real thin so you can see right through the bacon. I'm gonna just wrap this sucker. All the way up, put one more piece on the outside, okay? Now we're gonna go the long ways. All right, so I got this bad boy wrapped up. I went three times this way, and then I went four times around this way. So now I'm just gonna press this in. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit, and then uh, I will season it again on the outside and I will fire up the grill and we're gonna throw it on the Vortex. All right, so we got our lamb chops stuffed and wrapped in bacon, they're looking good. Now we are going to season the bacon on the outside. We're gonna use the Chipotle mango rub. Stacking this thing with flavors. We got Cajun on there, we got mangoes, we got cream cheese. Now we're hitting it with some Chipotle mango on the outside. We're just layering flavors.
Okay, the lamb is on. I got the vent wide open, the bottom vent wide open. It's at the 12 o'clock position. So for eight minutes, I started my timer. My timer just went off, so I'm gonna lift the lid. Whoo! All right, so then I'm gonna move it. It's gonna go to the three o'clock position. Vents wide open, start a timer for eight minutes, and we're gonna rotate the lid again. All right, eight minutes. Whoo! She's looking good. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this lid back. We're gonna go to six o'clock. I can get her to sit. Six o'clock, boom, start a timer, eight minutes. So I'm actually gonna pull those off in like two minutes. I pulled these bad boys right off the grill. Um, I pulled them off at like 127. I let them rest for 10 minutes. I coated them with barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce stuck in. So now I'm ready to eat. All right, so let's cut these bad boys open. Oh, nice and tender. Oh, look at that cream cheese. Got some mango in there. Now the only thing left to do is eat. Very good. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.